Garth here. Today I'm just going to do a really quick video just to show you my finishing process. I'm going to do it real time and you're going to see all the products that I use and the amount of time that it takes to use them. Um, I've had some people say it looks so complicated but it really isn't. It's really quite simple to get a brilliant finish. So here I have a piece of maple, nothing special but I have sanded it to 320 and I've tried to get it as immaculate as I possibly can with no spiral scratches so what I did was as I sanded it I also sanded with the grain so I would sand normally and then I would sand with the grain with each grit to 320 grit I'm going to show you the products that I use once I get to this stage so this is the basic lineup that I use I start with denatured alcohol and that cleans the grain. And then I seal the wood with a shellac based sanding sealer. And then I do that maybe three times, allowing it to dry between each coat. Otherwise, the second and third coat will just take off the previous coat if you don't allow it time to dry. Then, when I've done that, not always, but sometimes I'll denib it with a scouring pad just to get any potential streaks off of the finish that there might be because you sometimes will see those streaks after that I always use after that I will use Yorkshire Grit Original and then Yorkshire Grit Microfine once I've done that that brings me to the thousand grit and then the micro mesh level of sanding equivalent once I've done that I will move on to Hampshire Sheen High Gloss and then a microcrystalline finish which will be my hard wearing fingerprint proof finish all of these will be applied with paper towel which I have at the end here and it really is quite simple so let's get this done okay so the first thing I'll do is I'll take a piece of sheet from this and I will rip it into pieces probably three pieces usually okay once I've done that fold it up take some denatured alcohol put some on the cloth and then in slow speed I'm doing about 300 rpm just remove anything that might be on the wood and if you look at the cloth there isn't really very much there but there's a little bit there that dries almost immediately the denatured alcohol vaps off Once I've, once I've cleaned it with denatured alcohol, I then move on to the sanding sealer. This is a shellac based sanding sealer. And I basically just put some on, allowing it a little bit of time between each coat to dry. You can see that it's shiny and then it goes dull as soon as it's gone dull. Basically the alcohol is vapped off and it's gone dry doesn't take very long I'm not going to pause this video I'm just going to keep it rolling the whole time I'm doing this so you can see the whole process in real time as I do it so I'll put three or four coats on depends on the wood this is pretty decent wood it's a piece of hard maple so uh, it should take a finish very well if you've got a piece of punky wood you're going to have more problems getting a nice finish on it because the wood will tend to soak up any finish that you put on it so once that's dry which it pretty well is if you want to you can denib it very lightly with a scouring pad basically just touch it with a scouring pad all that does is take off any streaks that might be on the piece of wood then we move on to Yorkshire Grit Original. With a piece of paper towel we apply a small amount 
Now you can stop the lathe turning at this point and just apply it all over. You want to do it on slow speed initially but the only reason is because it tends to throw it because it's kind of a cream and it will throw the cream in your face. That's the only real reason we start slow and then we work up to the max speed that we can with the piece we're working on. So now I can hear that cutting. Maybe you can too. And literally after just a few seconds we can start bringing the speed up. I'm now doing about 1200 RPM. I can see now that it's not really cutting anymore so I can move on to a clean piece of paper towel and remove any residue that's there. The, U the Yorkshire grit breaks down as you use it so it gets finer and finer. And remove any residue so nothing comes off on the paper towel. Which is pretty good there. We'll turn the lathe off. And already that's starting to get a nice smooth, it's very smooth, nice smooth finish to it. We'll move on to the Yorkshire grit microfine. You don't have to do this. This just gets you that little bit finer of a grit. Really intended for exotic hardwoods and resins and acrylics and things like that, but I pretty much use it on everything. Bring the speed back down again so that the cream doesn't get thrown in your face when you turn the lathe on. And we'll start turning that slow speed. Again, you're going to hear it cutting. Maybe you can hear it. I can. And then we'll bring the speed up from 200. Again, up to 1200 RPM. Depends on the piece of wood you're working with. If I was doing a pen, I would go pretty much as fast as I can, 3,000 maybe. But you don't have to. With a bowl or something bigger, you don't want to go that fast. Then we'll move on to a clean piece of paper towel because it's not cutting anymore. It's done its job. We'll bring the speed up a little bit more. It's 1,500 RPM. And that has done its job. Now it's looking very smooth, very shiny, feels very nice. Now I'm going to move on to Hampshire Sheen High Gloss. We'll get the can opener out and uh, this is the British version of Hampshire Sheen High Gloss. Food and toy safe and you just a small amount, put a small amount on, bring the speed down again put a small amount on. Now what you can do is you can actually use a heat gun for this because uh, you want the solvents to vap off. I believe there's still solvents in it that need to vap off. Essentially once this is fully cured it's considered food and toy safe. So that is applied. I will give that just a few seconds to dry off. Let it go tacky just a little bit. Like I said, I want to continue the video, keep it running. I don't want to stop. I want you to see how quickly it takes. We've been filming now for how many minutes? Not very long, I don't think. Okay, so we are now going to... That's pretty much pretty much gone tacky so what I'm going to do now is 
we can actually bring the speed up because it's not going to throw anything at me. Nothing much anyway. So I'm going 1600 RPM here. You can even go faster because it's a spindle and it's very, very stable in the truck. Use a fresh piece of paper towel to continue. Make sure this is burnished in properly and there's no residue on there that's still tacky. And I would say that that is, is good. Now you can see the lines of wax when they move across the surface of the wood. Keep doing this until that stops. And that is now done. And what we can do is continue to put Hampshire Sheen microcrystalline wax on, which will give you a fingerprint proof finish, some more shine and protection, essentially. You don't have to do this step, it's just one more step that I like to do. The bare minimum that I recommend is to clean it, seal it, use Yorkshire Grit Original and Hampshire Sheen High Gloss. Everything else is just extra, which is just an extra bonus. Again, you apply that a small amount and let that dry off. Now I've dropped it. Okay, let that dry off just for a couple of minutes, not even. Normally I would give it just a couple extra minutes, but uh, I just want to get this and show you guys. And then when we're done, I'll bring you in and show you the nice, smooth, glossy finish that we have. Okay, so I'm going to burnish that in now. Again with a high speed. We're actually doing 2000 RPM now. Go to the highest you can with the piece you're working on, so it depends on the piece that you're working with as to how fast you can go. Whatever you're feeling safe with. And you want heat, you want friction with this. Unlike sanding, you don't want heat with sanding, but with this you do, because you want to burnish that into the wood. You take a fresh piece of paper towel and we are done. That's finished. I'm going to bring you in for a close look. Maybe I'll shed some light on it. And hopefully you can see that. Let's just bring you in. I don't like moving the camera around too much. I don't know if that light is helping or not. The whole camera is moving on me. Okay, can you see that? I hope you can. And that is how I use my products and uh, the sequence of, uh, of how I use them. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Take care now.